What happens when one of Italy's most famous design houses and one of their most respected yacht builders join forces? Today's vlog answers that question. I produced a video about Rossi Navi about six months ago, and one of the points that I made in that video is that actually a custom yacht builder can work with pretty much any designer that you choose. Rossi Navi is a great example of that. Through the years, the yachts that they've built have been very diverse in their design. Well, now I want to tell you about one of the most exciting design partnerships between Rossi Navi and the designer to date, and also to tell you how this YouTube channel will be very directly involved with Rossi Navi in the near future and with a designer. But first, let me tell you about Rossi Navi and Pininfarina. Rossi Navi has long been a highly respected name in the world of super yachts, known for a diverse range of high quality custom boats. But there have been some particularly exciting new developments coming out of the yard following its collaboration with the iconic Italian design house Pininfarina. The captivatingly curvaceous Super Sport Fleet 65 and now 50 meter yachts. With long sweeping lines and elegantly balanced proportions, the Super Sport 65 announced at the end of last year is one of the best looking yacht designs to hit the market in recent times. Pininfarina is responsible for the fantastic styling of many remarkable high performance cars like the Fittipaldi EF7 Vision Gran Turismo. And just as this car turns heads and oozes style and sex appeal, so will Rossi Navi's Super Sports. On both Super Sports, as well as the 70 meter Aurea, also designed in collaboration with Pininfarina. A single curvaceous line leads your eye from the bow to the stern, echoed by the flowing form of the deck above. Now with so much open space, her two upper decks appear almost to float unsupported. And throughout their interior and exterior relaxation areas, these boats are infused with stunning Italian style, which in many instances reflects design elements from luxury cars. Specialising in the construction of steel and aluminium super yachts above 40 metres, Rossi Navi has gained a reputation for high quality custom builds. The Rossi Navi shipyard in Viareggio was founded in the 1970s by Parida and Claudio Rossi and they began subcontracting for several major super yacht brands in the 1980s. Then, in 2007, they started to build their first yachts under the Rossi Navi brand. In recent years, they have produced a diverse range of one-off yachts, including Endeavour 2, Utopia 4, Flying Dagger, and the traditionally styled Taranse. And among current projects is the 229-foot Ice Class Certified King Shark, designed by Enrico Gobbi and Arabito Naval Architects. Turning to Pininfarina, Ferrari, Maserati, Lancia and Alfa Romeo are just some of the well-known car manufacturers this firm has designed for over its long and illustrious history. And it's not just cars they create, but planes and private jets, trams, buses, high-speed trains, and even bikes. Pininfarina has also been involved in the design of a variety of large yachts and has worked with Pershing on its 88 and Princess on the X95 and R35 performance sports yachts, as well as Azimut, Fincantieri, Perisco Marine and Wally before its collaboration with Rossi Navi. The Super Sport 50 and 65 are a progression from plans for the 70 metre diesel electric Aurea drawn up by Pininfarina for Rossi Navi in 2017. Her sinuous sculptural lines have similarities with both new designs. So let's take a look first at Aurea. 
In addition to her striking good looks, the standout features of this beautiful 230 foot design are the three large aft decks, with the sun deck doubling up as a helipad. Fold out balconies on either side provide extra space and easy access to the water, while guests can also choose to take a dip in the C-shaped swimming pool or the infinity pool on the upper deck, reached by two curved staircases. As well as the infinity pool, the upper deck has dining and relaxation space. And the forward sky lounge provides shelter from the sun, while below on the main deck is a remarkably spacious beach club. Rossi and Avi say that their Super Sports 50 and 65 take their inspiration from the lines of the sea with Pininfarina's iconic fluidity of style. The hulls are characterized by elegance and shapes taken from nature, while at the same time recalling Pininfarina's automotive design heritage. And as with all Rossi Navis, they will be manufactured to maximize guest comfort through use of the yard's zero noise technology, which dramatically reduces vibration and sound levels. Although the Supersport 65 is five meters smaller, she possesses much of Aria's style. Her two upper decks float seemingly unsupported while the main staircase climbs organically up through the boat, merging seamlessly into floors and ceilings. These are designs that really make the most of outdoor living, with expansive open areas on the main, upper and fly deck. On the Supersport 65, there are two pools, fore and aft on the main and upper decks, as well as a jacuzzi and a bar right at the top. The upper deck features a spacious lounge area, while below is another large outdoor relaxation area with a sizable dining table close to the galley. Forward on the main deck is the full beam master cabin with his and hers en suites and dressing areas, while five further guest cabins can be found on the lower deck. In the bow, you'll find generous crew accommodation with seven cabins, a crew galley and a mess. Further aft on the main deck, there is storage provision for tenders and for jet skis. She'll be built in aluminium, with power provided by four 12-cylinder MTU engines, able to produce a top speed of over 30 knots using water jets, and her range will be approximately 4,000 nautical miles when cruising at 12 knots. Now, hot off the press are the first details of Rossi Navi's latest designs, the Supersport 50. Undoubtedly from the same family as the Supersport 65 and Aria, the Supersport 50 also boasts carefully balanced proportions and curvaceous good looks. Built entirely in aluminium and measuring just over 160 feet, the Supersport 50 has accommodation for eight guests and eight crew. Her fly deck carries a spa pool and bar, and below this on the upper deck, there's a sky lounge and a large outdoor dining area with a circular table, a bar, and a large curved bank to the rear. Beneath this, on the main deck, you'll find yet another attractive deck area with a pair of semicircular seats, providing a fantastic spot to make the most of far-reaching ocean views. Beside this is another spacious lounge area and indoor dining table, once again close to the main galley. Winding its way up through the heart of the boat is a large spiral staircase linking the upper deck sky lounge and bridge to the main living area and guest accommodation on the lower deck. Once again you'll find a sizable full beam master stateroom on the main deck with his and hers en suites and dressing areas. Four more guest cabins three doubles and a twin, are located on the lower deck. Then in the bow, you'll find all the crew accommodation, well separated from the guest areas, and in the stern, an attractive beach club and spa pool. Clearly, for custom yacht builders, it's very important to have exciting new designs, and Rossi Navi have proven themselves very capable of taking those designs and building yachts to a very high standard indeed. 
The exciting news though, is that to encourage young designers to pursue that career, they've now started the Rossi Navi Design Challenge. And I've been privileged to be invited as one of the judges for that challenge and for this YouTube channel to be associated with it too. I make no secret of the fact that often I'll film these vlogs sometime before they actually get published. And as a matter of fact, when I finish filming here, I'm going straight to Viareggio because I have a meeting with the Rossi Navi team to discuss the award with them and some other things too. By the time the video is published, the award will have been given out, probably just a couple of days prior to my publishing the video. So I'll be filming that too. There'll be a vlog all about the Rossi Navi Award, who won it, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on what promises to be a very fascinating video. Now, since we filmed that vlog, I've actually come to the Rossi Navi shipyard where they've shown me the actual models of those Pininfarina yachts. We're amongst the first people in the world to be able to see these. I'm here today because it's the day of the Rossi Navi Design Challenge. They'll be announcing the winner and giving the prize to the winner. So we'll be filming that. You'll be able to see some of the extraordinary applications for that design challenge and also find out who the winner is by tuning in next week.